ever wondered why your camera adds £10 but your bathroom mirror doesn't? Well, let's clear up this misconception. It's not that your camera is sneakily adding pounds to your frame. Rather, it's all about lens distortion and perspective. You see, camera lenses can sometimes distort the proportions of the subject, giving a bit of an inflated look. It's like looking at yourself in a funhouse mirror. So, it's not the camera that's been cheating on your diet, it's just playing tricks with your perspective. All right, let's turn the clock back to the age of dinosaurs. Just kidding. Cameras weren't around then. But let's journey back in time to the 11th century, to the era of the camera obscura. This was the great, great granddaddy of all cameras. It was a simple box with a tiny hole that allowed light to pass through, creating an inverted image on the opposite wall. But you couldn't save a copy of the image, so every picture was a one-time show. Fast forward to the 19th century, and voila, the daguerreotype camera is born. Named after Louis Daguerre, this camera was a real game changer. It captured images on a silver-coated copper plate. But here's the fun part. It took about 15 minutes to capture a single photo. So if you thought your friend took ages to snap a pic at the dinner table, imagine posing for a quarter of an hour. Better get those facial muscles in shape. But humans being humans, we weren't satisfied with just that. We wanted to capture moments in an instant. Enter George Eastman, the man who revolutionized photography with the Kodak camera in the late 19th century. This little gem used rolls of film that could take multiple shots. Then in the mid 20th century, Polaroid introduced instant photography to the world. Just click, wait a few moments, and there's your photo. No need for dark rooms or chemicals anymore. Finally, we sprint into the 21st century, where we're spoiled with digital cameras. They capture and store thousands of high resolution images on tiny memory cards. And let's not forget the smartphone cameras that we carry in our pockets, boasting more megapixels than the Hubble Space Telescope. Imagine telling the folks back in the 19th century that we can now take photos with our phones. They'd probably think we're wizards. From cameras that were as big as a room to ones that fit in our pockets, we've come a long way. Remember when cameras were these bulky boxes that you lugged around, your neck straining under the weight of your artistic endeavors? Fast forward to today, where cameras are sleek, slim and oh so portable. Not only have they shrunk in size, but they've also expanded in capabilities. Back in the day, capturing a moment meant fiddling with dials, adjusting the focus and praying that your subject didn't move before the flash went off. Now, we have cameras that can capture a bird mid-flight or a droplet of water as it splashes into a pool, all in stunning high definition. But it's not just about capturing moments anymore. Cameras have become our silent companions, observing the world around us. They watch over our homes, our streets and our stores. They become our eyes in the sky, our protectors in the dark, our witnesses to history. And let's not forget the role they play in our social interactions. We now live in an era where we share our lives through images, where a picture is not just worth a thousand words, but a thousand likes, shares and comments. Cameras have become so integral to our lives, they're now as essential as our smartphones. Who knows, maybe in the future we'll have cameras in our eyeballs. Blink twice for a selfie. Let's hop onto our time machines and zoom into the future of cameras. Picture this, you're walking in a beautiful garden and you want to capture the essence of it, not just visually, but also the smell of fresh flowers and the taste of the air after a light rain. Could cameras of the future help you do that? Absolutely. Imagine cameras that can capture holographic images, making your photos literally pop out. Or how about AI-powered editing that can enhance your photos to professional levels without you lifting a finger? But let's get a little crazy. Consider a camera that can capture smells and tastes. Yes, you heard it right. A camera that can let you relive the aroma of your grandma's apple pie or the zing of a lemon tart from that Parisian bakery. So the next time you take a photo of your food, maybe you'll be able to taste it too. And that's a snapshot of the past, present and future of cameras. From misconceptions to innovations, we've zoomed into the fascinating world of photography. So keep your eyes on the viewfinder, folks. Remember, in the future, if your camera starts tasting your food before you do, you heard it here first.